Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new Tesla update video. So as usual, let's go over the market. Let's see what happens today. Pretty, uh, you know, a little bit of a slower day. I don't want to say so, I mean, compared to yesterday, anything's a slower day. But nonetheless, you know, not, not a bad day. Um, I think, you know, we, we kind of saw what we more or less wanted to see. But let's go over it uh, very quickly. So let's first actually do the indices. Let me show the drawings here very quickly. So essentially what we're looking at is um so yesterday was a horrible day like i said you know we dropped really low in the indices right they spike i mean everything um and it was looking really bad we actually ended up recovering just barely shy of where we needed to but somehow today we still pushed through on you know the spy the qqq um which isn't bad like you know we're pushing up which is good the issue is usually when the indices are like this volatile and this just chaotic it's, it's pretty common to say that we are in, or at least close to what is a bear market. Now, I personally don't think we're, we're actually going to be entering a bear market. I don't think we're, like, I think we're past correction, but we're below a bear market. I think we're somewhere in the middle at the moment, and I don't actually think we'll enter, like, a true bear market. A true bear market is, like, 20 plus percent correction, like, at least. Like, for instance, the SPY right now, uh, if you look from the tippity top to, let's say, from the bottom, what we touched at the bottom, was a 14 percent correction. I don't think we'll enter a bear market. I think there's still there's still potentially more downside ahead. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think we'll enter a bear market. So essentially, for the spy, I'm I'm actually I'll, I'll be honest. I'm a little surprised it even pushed up this far, but I'll be very surprised if it pushes up across this like little kind of long rectangle thing I have here. There should be like a decent amount of resistance there, especially after these two like insane green days. I mean, think about it. We went from the lows to the highs, which was about like almost a seven percent move in two days on the spy like come on i mean that's that's ridiculous like it's good don't get me wrong but that's, that's quite a move like that's insane it's just ridiculous like it's a, it's the spy like imagine the spy moving seven percent in two days like it's obscene but nonetheless you know a pretty impressive recovery nonetheless so yeah uh, one thing i'm just gonna say guys is you know don't be surprised if you know maybe we push up to like 440 let's say for spy and get rejected and then start trading downwards and same thing with the qqq give or take right push up to somewhere around that this level you know maybe like 350 to 354 anywhere in that range i expect some you know serious resistance coming in and you know we'll go from there looking at tesla similar concept again for tesla you know decent recovery if you look at like say the one hour chart uh, you can see that you know we kind of broke out of this downtrend over here um i think i had it in the two hour it was better but yeah so we kind of broke out of this downtrend you know uh which was good and we actually re today retested it you can see this like long wick right here kind of went down retested it successfully so that was good and then we kind of went sideways now that's a good sign but again guys i'm here to tell you that just a straight fact and like what i actually think instead of just feeding you nonsense right i don't think we're out of the woodworks uh yet uh that still remains to be seen and I'll give you guys what I want to be seeing to either confirm we're out of the woodworks and or like you know the, the the bloodbath and what can show us that we're still very much in it. So, in order for us to essentially confirm that we're out of this like just pain, well, number one, I think first and foremost, we absolutely want to go ahead and close above this trend line that we are now in a very long time. Tesla hasn't done this ever since um, February of 2020. It's been about two years and this is the first time we officially have closed the week below the trend line i'll be honest that's not good like that is not what you want to be seeing like that is not ideal like if next week we don't somehow recover and close above the trend line so essentially next week if we don't close um above man like 880 like at, at least like 870 minimum 870 but like ideally at least 880 yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking good. Um, and will we close above that price? I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't think so. And the reason I don't think so is because like this is this this really is not like the best thing in the entire world to see at the very moment. Now, I don't think there's gonna be that much more downside ahead. Because at the end of the day, this could be essentially a fake breakdown. But if it's a fake breakdown, we need to like recover and get back above this trend line sooner than later. Let's just say that. Um, so essentially what I'm looking at is at the moment, we're currently setting lower lows, lower highs. That's obviously just, you know, we're obviously in a downtrend. Like that's just, that is literally what it is. We are literally in a downtrend. So you can see here, high, like we set it essentially all time highs, higher, highest high ever, right? High, high, lower, low, high or lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. So we're constantly sell, uh, setting lower lows and lower highs, which just, I mean, obviously means we're in a downtrend. The way that it, that gets broken is by number one, we need to set a lower, oh sorry, we need to set a higher low 
at the very least, in my opinion. Like at the very least, we have to set a higher low, which I think we will. I do think we're going to set a higher low. But to truly confirm it, we need to set a higher high. So essentially, until we break this dreaded 940 at some point, whenever that may be, maybe it's next week, maybe it's the week after, maybe it's in a month, maybe it's in two months. I don't know exactly when that'll be. But until we break 940 and until we officially close above 940 for at least two or three days in a row and 940 turns into resistance, we're in a downtrend. That, that's just literally what it means. So until that happens, until this 940 ends up being resistance, we're in a downtrend. Now, the one thing that might happen here, and you know, don't be surprised, is it's very common that after a big steep drop like this, we see some very small higher highs and higher lows, like kind of very like micro type uh, moves, essentially, similar to like how we saw here. Like we said, you know, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. But after we set this lower low, you can see we kind of, you know, said like, you know, slightly went higher and higher a little bit here and then broke down and then broke down. That essentially is just a perfect sign of a bear flag or a bear pennant, right? In this case, we had a bear flag. I show this is more bear pennant, but nonetheless, the point is, is that what can happen here is let me remove this line because this is essentially done. What you know we can potentially see now is essentially setting up a bear flag. Now, obviously, there is a very good chance. Oh, not a very good chance, but there is a chance that we uh, essentially nullify the bear flag. Like just because it's a bear flag doesn't mean it's guaranteed to play out in a bear flag fashion, aka breaking downwards and making a lower lower essentially. That's not like guaranteed. It's just the probability is higher, but it's not guaranteed. So essentially what you can be seeing, you can be seeing something like, you know, this is such an awkward candle because this candle is just such an awkward candle. Like it's hard to even do stuff with it because it's just such an awkward candle, man. Like it's so weird. But essentially what I wouldn't be surprised is if we see something like, like we already kind of broke out of this uh, uptrend, which, you know, isn't necessarily ideal, but essentially what I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, we said either, you know, these small little high, you, you can see like, you know, we said here, then we went higher, high in this little intraday thing, just for this specific section, we set a high, low, and then we kind of go sideways. And then we might set a little bit of a higher high. Like at best, I honestly don't think we'll go past 850 yet. If we do, and if we break past 850, that's in my opinion, a good sign. I don't think we will, but if we do, hey, that's great. That's kind of what we want to see. But again, wouldn't be surprised if we kind of slowly inch upwards like this and, you know, it starts slowing down. Like you can see here, the ramp upwards was really fast, 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 fast. And now it's slowing down, slowing down, kind of going sideways. That's a sign that we're kind of hitting, you know, massive resistance, which I mean, we obviously are around this kind of 800 to 840 area or 850 area. This whole area is going to be big resistance, like very difficult to blast through, especially the fact that there's still nothing really like good news that's kind of giving us, um, you know, momentum yet. So we'll need something either just like overall, like, you know, regarding Russia, Ukraine or the Fed and a mix of the two, or maybe just Tesla announces something insane. But we need some catalyst to push us through this right now. And until we get that, it's going to be pretty difficult. So who knows what will happen with that? But that's essentially what I'm looking at. We want to see at the very least 850 get broken and especially 900 and like 880 to 900. We really want to see that get broken at some point, whenever that is. I don't think it'll be in a you know next week for instance or maybe even the week after i don't think we will do it just yet but i do think we'll do it eventually obviously it's just you know it'll take some time until it's good news starts coming out because right now there's very little of that um so that's essentially what i'm seeing guys i'm definitely seeing like another bear flag forming similar to how we kind of had it here you know you can see like the bear flag forming and then it finally broke under and then things just plummeted and I wouldn't be surprised if that happens again but again it also could not happen so that's just kind of what I'm looking at so we'll see what happens with that next week guys but again overall the main thing I'm looking for is essentially I want to maintain within this flag number one this big red flag that we have been in for quite a while like I don't want to break under that as well like that's gonna be really bad because not only are we underneath the teal or teal teal line which is the overall uptrend but if we break under this bear flag uh, sorry bull flag which is I mean at this point is hardly a bull flag anymore to be completely honest um that's me even worse, but we'll see what happens. Either way, what I'm personally doing, if you're wondering like my current actions, I'm not gonna lie, I got kind of uh, memed on yesterday. Uh, I sold calls yesterday, like I said, way too early because I didn't expect Tesla to go from frigging 8% down to 5% up. Like that's just ridiculous. Like a 14, 13, 14, whatever percent move-ish, like insane. So I got kind of memed on, so I had to roll my calls to next week, um, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, but you know, again, if we enter ever, if we ever enter, which I don't think is impossible, but if we ever enter into the sixes, like let's say 650 or somewhere in the sixes, I'm buying more. Like I'm I'm not going to be worried. I'm going to be excited if anything. It's going to suck. Don't get me wrong. The short term pain is going to be, it's, you know, it's going to hurt. 
But man, I'm going to be buying. I don't know about you guys. I'm personally waiting until to see if we ever enter the sixes because I have cash ready in my account that is like last resort, essentially. Um, and yeah, if we enter the sixes, I will absolutely, without question, buy. No, no doubt in my mind, I will... I will buy quite a bit, actually. So yeah, that's essentially what I'm looking at, guys. Uh, you can see also the volume significantly lower than yesterday, which isn't uh, ideal. So this uptrend that was, you know, it was an uptrend. Like the thing is, we did end higher than we did yesterday, which is which is a good sign. That's not a bad sign. That's a good sign. But the fact that we ended with like almost half the volume, it's a little bit sussy. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the best thing in the entire world to see. So yeah, that's essentially what I'm seeing, guys. Again, sum it all up. A lot of resistance I'm expecting up until 850, massive resistance, like huge resistance up until 850 and especially 900. Like this is going to be a tough climb out of the 800s, in my honest opinion. Until we set a higher high and a higher low, I do think we're going to be continued in this downtrend. And until we get better news, I do think we're going to be continuing in this downtrend again. So I, I just I don't think we're out of the woodworks yet, guys. So just keep that in mind. Again, if you want to be if you want to if you want to hear someone just constantly, to, you know, telling you that, oh, man, yeah, guys, we're going to the moon. It's all good, man. We're going to the moon. It's so it's easy. It's, it's over, man. The pain's over. Everyone party time, party time, you know, pop the alcohol, pop the champagne, whatever. That's just not the that's, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you my honest thoughts, what I honestly see happening, what I honestly believe will happen. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Hey, I would love to be wrong about the downtrend continuing. Hey, by all means, pl like, please go up higher. I just don't think it'll happen. That's all. And this is coming from a bull. Like I'm, a, it's literally the only stock I hold. Let me just say that this is literally the only stock I hold in my portfolio. It's literally my portfolio. But I'm not gonna sit here and you know live in like la la land essentially. I'm gonna be. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, if we go down more, I'm buying more. I'm not. I'm not going to be complaining. I, five years from now, we're going to be looking back at 700, even 600, if we enter that. And I promise you guys, you're going to be wishing you bought more. I promise that. Anyway, all that being said and done, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys for uh, the next update on Monday. Peace.